I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of suffering. I know why you clicked on this video, okay? I know! Let's just get this over with! Ugh! Ugh! I used to think anxiety was bad for the Wheel of Mutt Super Bowls. This is a hundred times worse. For anyone who's not clued in, last season Wheel of 2K, I landed on probably the worst possible challenge. Literally probably the worst. And I saw I had to make an exes group chat. I'm really not okay with stuff like this on YouTube, to be honest with you. Like, this is not my brand of content, okay? But I put it on there and I lost. I don't really have a choice. That's how it feels right now. There's no way I could actually not do this. So I do need to give you guys a little backstory though, okay? As I'm recording this, it's 6 50 p.m. I woke up early and I was like, I want to get this out of the way so that I can just go about the rest of my day. I screen recorded my phone. I typed up a text. Hope you guys like it. I put everyone in a group chat. Some of you are mentioning about this. I know you would probably want to know who is saying what. I feel too bad doing that, to be honest with you. I mean, you can obviously take a pretty good guess. The odds are in your favor, but I just switched all their profile pictures to like, you know, random emojis. So I send this text, I start my recording. I'm sitting there for like an hour and I get no response. Like I just sat in front of the camera sitting here doing nothing. So I was thinking either one, they all have me blocked and I'm just a walking L. Or two, I don't know, maybe they're just ignoring it. And then three was they just hadn't seen it yet. Either way, I wasn't actually going to sit in front of my camera for like the whole day. I was kind of tweaking out for a little bit. I stopped the recording. I waited a couple more hours just going about my day. No response. No I was like, oh my God, is this whole thing a wash? Like, am I really going to go through this with nothing? And then I'm out to dinner with my parents at like 5 p.m. Ooh. And I get a text back, bro. So obviously I didn't have my camera on. I mean, I'm out to dinner with my family, but I just like run. I told my parents, I was like, hey, I got to get this video out. I hustled home. I turned the camera on and now we're sitting here. So this is the conversation that ended basically 20 minutes ago. I hope you guys enjoy. This is the best I could do with what I was working with. All right. I said, hello, ladies. Would any of you like to return to the dungeon? I guess like that's kind of funny. I'm trying to not be that disrespectful because it's already so disrespectful to put all of your exes in a group chat. First message I get back. LOL, good try. I already got about a thousand DMs about this. It's time to grow up, Matt. Tough. I didn't even know what to say. I was just like shocked looking at my phone in complete disbelief. I basically blacked out for like eight seconds when this first text came through. And then I get dogpiled, bro. Is this really what I think this is? I am actually so embarrassed for you, Matthew. Threw in the Matthew. Nobody calls me Matthew. Nobody calls me Matthew, not even my mom. At that point, I was a little riled up, you know? I just got sauced up by two different people. I said, so is that a no? And then, now we're three for four. I get a, who is this? That hurts, bro. Like literally deleted my number, doesn't even know. <laughs> and then, and then she comes back with, trust me, you don't want to know. I don't know if they all got the memo at the same time, but it's been, it's been roughly 30 minutes since that last one. And I'm like, I don't want to say anything else. I'm so over this. Ugh. I'm just, dude, I'm just so happy it's over. I guess technically I could keep texting in there, but I feel like that would just pile on to how rude it is. I think the challenge is complete. Oh, that was horrible. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm literally probably blocked by four different people after today. Will of 2K season three. As you can tell by my brand new cheat sheets, it's the final season. You know the rules by now. I won't recap them. Let's walk through the challenges of this new season and hope it goes a hell of a lot better for me than last season did. Okay, let's hop into this. The final season, 0 and 12. Winning zero games is a naked mile. It's pretty self-explanatory. I have to get butt naked and run a mile. Obviously, it has to be in public. I cannot run around, you know, the inside of my house. So yeah, I'm really not trying to catch a case or a sex offender case or do this at three in the morning when nobody's watching. So 1 in 11 is creating OnlyFans. This one was so popular in the YouTube comment section, but I'm not going 1 in 11 either, so it doesn't matter. But it would be kind of fun. For a day, I'd get blown up. It'd be good for everybody. So I like that one. I'm going to go 2 and 10 though, and I really don't want to change my own number. So if I go 3 and 9, I will wear a Tom Brady University of Michigan jersey to an MSU game. Bro, this Halloween is MSU versus U of M at MSU. So if I go three and nine, I will wear the Tom Brady jersey to that game. That show would be horrible. I would get harassed. 
If I go four and eight, I will get a women respecter tattoo. It's kind of ironic too, so I don't mind that one too much, but I don't plan on going four and eight either. If I go five and seven, now we're in the very realistic realm again, I will get 10 random girls numbers. I guess I could technically do guys too, but I don't swing that way. So I'll probably just like mic myself up, go out in public and just see how many times I get shot down. This might be the scariest one on here. I don't know though. I will vlog a Tinder date and also whoever I would be taking out would have to be cool with it. Seven and five, no shaving for a month. Very realistic one. And I look like shit when I don't shave, okay? Just can't get good facial hair. I hate it so much. It would be tough. I would not be happy about that. Eight and four, I will write a two minute fully spoken essay about equality and women's suffrage. That might be the worst one on here, actually. Now that I think about it, that should have been 0 and 12. And I'll, uh, I'll start like the next video with that speech or something like that. Nine and three, baby, you know the vibes. You gotta write an essay. Put it in the comments about how handsome I am. If I go 10 and two, get shit on. I don't even know, you're just a bum. If I go 11 and one, you have to ligma and sugma. Don't ask any more questions and 12 and 0, you already know the deal, baby. That is the final season of Wheel of 2K. Let's talk about the team. Last season, we were the Seattle misogyny, and I got in a little trouble for that. So, in the name of equality, this season, we are the Phoenix Feminists because we believe in equal rights. Equal rights, equal fights, baby. She can catch these hands. The Phoenix Feminist, as you guys know, I like to have one God tier player and the rest will be Amethyst. This season, I'm pulling a bit of a curveball. I don't know if you guys are gonna expect this one, but I went with Invincible. Derek Rose. D Rose is one of the first players I watched in the NBA that I really loved, aside from obviously Dirk Nowitzki. Prime Bulls MVP D Rose, one of the most athletic players literally of all time. So yeah, I just love him. I don't know if the card's good or not. Quite frankly, I don't care. I'm just excited to play with it. And then we've got Amethyst, Kobe, Jimmy Butler, Zion, Embiid, Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal, Scalabrini making a return, and Anthony Davis, who honestly is really good. And of course, we still have the blackest man in the NBA, Dean Wade. Love that guy. This is the squad. You know the rest of the rules. We spin a wheel. We add some players. We spin the challenge wheel. If I complete the challenge wheel, I get one of any pack in the store. Let's get our wheel spin in. Let's get rocking and rolling, baby. I'm ready to knock the naked mile completely out of here. Also, a huge thank you to Roman Focus for sponsoring today's video. You know when you're just like completely dialed in? You're super productive, you're cleaning your room, you're getting your homework done, everything is in order. And I know for a fact, when I'm filming Wheel of Up, Wheel of 2K, or really any video, I have to be completely dialed in, or the video's just not gonna come out how I want it to. So that's why Roman, today's sponsor, has launched this, Roman Focus. This is a nootropic dietary supplement, and it's got ingredients in it that help with calm energy, mental focus, and overall cognitive function. Now I know that's a whole lot of big words. Basically, this is a safe way to improve your concentration, stay dialed in and get your tasks done. They're adorable. Can my camera focus on that? Hey, there we go, nice. For me, before a really important video, I just take two capsules and I feel great. So if you are ready to lock in, go to getroman.com forward slash MMG for $15 off your first order of Roman Focus plus free two day shipping. Again, that's getroman.com forward slash MMG, $15 off your first order plus two day free shipping. Make sure you click the link in the top of the description. All right, one thing that has definitely not changed is we've got to spin our wheel, add our player, and get our challenge wheel. Our first wheel spin of the brand new season. Oh my God, I literally thought it was gonna, look at how close that is to one store bundle. One store bundle would have literally added like 10 dark matters to my team like that. So joining our goaded, invincible Derek Rose, who I don't even know how good he is, that is an NFL, dude, I'm so dumb. Holy shit, I'm so unbelievably dumb. That is an NFL, I just, I mean, technically I could do Miami, I do Miami Heat. Dude, if the NBA team wheel lands on the Miami Heat now, the uh, uh, Illuminati or something, I'm probably gonna like sign off and not post this video. All right, any single player, but they must come from me. Dude, if this lands Miami Heat, don't even think about it. It's kind of close. It's not gonna be though, Pelicans? 
I get Alonzo, maybe. Oh, T-Wolves. Wet words? I never even got to use wet words last year, really. Let's see what they got. Ah! There's an invincible Anthony Edwards? Damn, what about Zach Levine? What is that? There's an invincible Garnett, too. Yikes. There's a lot of studs out here. Bro, I'm getting invincible Anthony Edwards. I had Edwards. I hardly used him at all last season. I would love to use an invincible Edwards. 37,000 MT for invincible Anthony Edwards. Yo, I'm kind of geeked for this. This is going to be fun. So they've got him at shooting guard. I low-key want to put him at small four, but I guess for now I'll run point guard, shooting guard. I bet this is so opposite of what I had last season. Last season at the start, I had a, I had a dominant front court. Our fourth center was nasty. My back court was horrible for forever. Now I have Derrick Rose, Anthony Edwards. Invincible D-Rose, Invincible Edwards, then Jimmy Butler, Zion, Embiid, and a bunch of bums. <laughs> About to take this on. And you know what I'm gonna do, baby? I'm gonna turn the shot meter off. Wait, how do I do that? I'm finally caving, I'm finally doing it. I've seen so many comments, I'm so pissed off with it that I, you got me. You guys finally got me. I'm turning the shot meter off. All right, boys, at least the challenge reel and a brand new fresh start. We are zero and zero. Double double with the newest player. Last time I got this, it was for Rudy Fernandez and I couldn't get it. But my newest player now is Invincible Anthony Edwards and he's already gonna be getting the ball so much. I just gotta find a way to get him a double double. Let's see my opponent's team. This is gonna be huge. Mobamba, Bobo, LeBron, Luca. <laughs> Oh, are we doing the same thing? Wait, are we doing the exact same thing? Bro, he's literally doing Wheel of 2K. He has two Dark Matters and a bunch of bums. This couldn't have gone better. All right, we got the tip, baby. Where's Edwards? Yep, so we got screener roll to Embiid. And you know what? Oh, oh, lots of lag. But I think I scored. I didn't score? How did I not score there? Oh, get in, get in. Ugh. Yup, yup, the feed. Zion, hit it. Let's go. That's an assist. Edwards got one. Four seconds on the shot clock. Get in front of it, Embiid. Oh. Okay, give me a roll. Oh, yep, double, yep. Zion's got it, let's go. Hey, we're gonna need that, that's two assists. Two assists early in the first, we're gonna get this. I feel like the points will just be like absurdly easy. We just gotta get these assists, then we can just straight play however we want. Let's see the roll, Zion. What a dish, oh, but he played it. He played that pretty well. No, that's great D. God, Dark Matter Luca just drills a contested one. Oh, Edwards is gonna go up. LeBron's got a foul. We'll get two points on the board here. Let's see this free throw. Ah, I don't have a shot meter. I don't have a shot meter. I don't have a shot meter. Holy shit, I don't have a shot meter. I'm so not used to that. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn, he drove it. But I need a shot meter. Shoots a leaner. Scalabrini's got it. Up to D-Rose for another one. Oh, I love it. I don't need a shot meter. Ooh, we got Computer Luca jumping. That means I could swing it. I could swing it. Jimmy got it! Wait a second. Is no shot meter kind of goaded? It says feminists. Look, it just says... It's just ringing the arena with feminists. <laughs> I love equality. Mika! Don't do that. Mika was humping. They're both girls, too. Defense of three seconds. That's free throws, yep. Ooh. I really don't like it for free throws. That's where it's worse. I love having that meter for free throws. Let's get it into Edwards. Oh my God. Oh, my ball. My ball. Anthony Davis has got it. Yep. Over to Wetwards. I'm going to pump. I'm just going to slam on him. Oh, what was that? That sucked. Oh shit. There's no time on the clock. Damn it. I wanted my assist. Yep, we're gonna run the court. We got the Amethyst Kobe. Dude, look at how he plays defense, though. Like... Oh, whoa! Somehow, some way, that's not a backcourt. Lillard! Ah! He was wide! Kinda need to call a timeout and get the good guys in, but I'm not going to. I'm too busy just drilling jumpers to Bradley Beal from deep! A green! Amethyst Bradley Beal! I'm just gonna hoard the paint when he comes in here. Ah! Yup, into Zion. Easy bucket. Ah! Oh! Let's go, Zion! Run it! Dude, we don't need our dark batters in. We'll just use our bumps, baby. Yup. Ah, shit. Don't you dare shoot a three on me. Ah! Call the timeout. Let's get Anthony Edwards in here to get some assists. Yup! Let's go! Zion, Am dude, am with the Zion? Not bad. Dude, I think the funniest thing is that every time I look at the clock, I think there's going to be a two-minute warning. Whenever it hits 2.03, I'm like, ah, shit, there's about to be a timeout. Like, I'm so... Oh! Edwards hits him! Oh, my God! He goes for the end one! Oh! 
Six points, four assists. He rose on Luca, playing great defense. Get that shit out of here. He knows I'm gonna pass it to Embiid, but can he stop it? But can he stop it? Let's go. Great defense. You're in a box, LeBron. You're in a box. Five. Get it to Zion. Put it up. Let's go. Assist to end it. That's gotta be right. He put that up. I have no idea if that counted. I don't know what the score was before that. The feminists, bro. This is what happens when we believe in equality. <laughs> yup, there it is. Good feed. Hit it, Butler. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, that's a good assist if I can grab it. I'm just, I'm going for my own bucket. Oh, that was a horrible shot. Oh, good roll, Anthony Davis. Good roll. We're gonna have 10 assists in the third. Another one? Scalabrini, don't you do it. Oh, the assist to Scalabrini. Got it. Screen and roll coming, baby. One more for Anthony Davis. This is what we do. Oh my God, he's nasty. No way. Scally. Put it up, baby. Oh no. Damn it! Wait, did they count that as a goaltending? That might be an assist. Wait, that might be an assist for real. Wait, did they count that? Ten assists! All right, actually, four more points. Oh, Anthony Davis! Just cut into the paint! I got an and one! Oh my god, Anthony Davis kind of like low-key MVP right now. Oh, yup. Dusted in with D-Rose. Great pass. Yup, we're gonna cross. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, Zion! Come on, baby! Ugh. I gotta shoot more threes, bro. I'm always shooting trash at it. You know what? Fine. Why not? What did I say, baby? Why not? Heroes, let's see those plants. Ooh, you can read that. <laughs> what a bead! Oh, you're so small! The feminist shooting 66% from the field. I do not mind that. Oh, wow, he got me. He got me. Seven point game. Let's burn what we can. Get it into, oh, bad turnover. Wait a second, a three is really bad here. Let's let him get a two. No, no, no. Good D, good D, we were there. Whoa, no you didn't. Okay, that's good D again. Whoa, straight air ball. Edwards with 11 points, 10 assists, just barely, barely getting that double double. Yup, get in there. Oh, what was that? What are you doing, Edwards? Whatever. You know what? Good bucket, buddy. Literally so disgusting. Let's get him some more. Oh my God. Look. Do we count it? Do we count this as a rage? No, we can't. We can't count this as a rage because the game's already over. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, completing our one challenge gets us one pack from the store. If you don't know the rules by now, we got our double-double with our newest player and the out of this world super packs are cracked. I opened a bundle. I swear it's like nine out of 10 were dark matters. Let's keep that up right now. Let's keep that up right now. On top of Anthony Edwards, on top of Derrick Rose, we're getting one dark matter right here. It's gonna be a 99 overall. Number two. Wait, who is that? Is that Jalen Suggs? That's one of the young boys. I'm a bum. The Pistons got Cade Cunningham. Yo, I'll take it. I'll take Cade Cunningham, dude. I love this dude. So Lillard, Kobe, Bradley Beal, Scalabrini, Anthony Davis off the bench with Zion and Embiid starting. We've got Derrick Rose, Cade Cunningham, and Anthony Edwards. Cade Cunningham is good, too. A-plus is all around the board everywhere except basketball IQ. All right, boys. That is it. What a banger. I'm so glad the first episode went well. I will see you in the second episode. Thanks for watching. As always, peace out. Good start.